Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 45 of our single player series on Scum. Now in the previous episode, we found some gold. We found gold in the form of a pickup truck. Now, I've had a little run around the a little run around the, the, the areas and uh, I dropped some stuff up at the at the base. As you can see, we've got some we've still got some stuff here. I've got my knife here. I've also got an N9 bayonet that I managed to pick up on the long uh, on the way up here. I've got an MP5K. I went back to the base. I got myself an MP5K. Found some ammunition for it at a police station. And best thing of all, because we had an MP5 suppressor and we had a red dot sight from a couple episodes back. I managed to also make a short improvised drill and now we've got a fully kitted out uh, MP5K. Look at that thing, look at that. Look how awesome that looks. Uh, as well as today, uh, we've got a one-handed axe at our disposal as well. This uh, this evil looking thing, this evil little hatchet right here. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be going to D4. The reason why we're not going to the city is because of late uh, I don't know if it's been the updates, I don't know if it's me, I, don't, I, I can't tell. Um, but if I go anywhere near the city, my frames drop. Um, as well as my frames, I've had a few fatal errors within the city. So until uh, a few patches come out and I dabble a wee bit more and test a wee bit more within the city limits or within the city itself, uh, we're not going to go to the city. But we are definitely going to go to the D4 location, which is why... I'm in D3 at the moment, and there's a little town right here that I've not actually visited before. I've been through this in multiplayer, but I've not been through it in single player. So let's have a little, let's have a little nosy, shall we? Uh, pickup truck is ready to rock and roll. Let's go, let's go. I'm back to my, back to my roots, ladies and gents. Back to my roots. Back to Mr. Drift King. So it isn't actually that far. It's actually right here. See when I said Drift King? Oh, you see the fish tail? Now, this place is going to be absolutely hoaching with zombies, and what we're going to have to do is do a wee bit of looting in this town before I do anything else. Get all the get all the textures rendered in. Right, there's already zombies spawning in, which is good. That's excellent, that's good, that's what I want. Even more zombies spawning in. Because we're quite close to the city, there will be a little bit of a, a frame jump here and there. Hold on. Right, that's them all aggroed. You know what? Should we... I don't think we should stop here. I think we should just go straight for D4. Tell you what, we'll go straight for D4. And we'll come back here uh, after we've done... After we're finished with D4. Right. We're heading to, straight towards it. So that right there, that yellow bit right there, that is where the tunnel is. And that's exactly where we're going. We're going to go through the tunnel. And hopefully, hopefully, the, uh, the mechs aren't too, you know... Savvy with us being around here. Wee bit of lag there, wee bit of frame jump in there. Things are spawning in. Look how fast I'm going! I think this is things rendering in because I'm doing like 150 kilometers an hour right now. I'm doing a serious rate. <laughs> oh, does this mean I can drift here? Oh! Oh, I'm king! I'm a king! I'm a king! <laughs> oh yes, Drift King. Love it, love it. Admit it, ladies and gentlemen, you've missed me drifting around corners and being stuck in the backside right out like that. You've missed that. Tell me true, you've missed it. Right, we're almost at the tunnel. Um, we could no. Well, there's there's two ways we can look at this. We can go through the tunnel. Or we can go further up, further up the hill here, and uh, come in from the from the top and get into the bottom. I'm thinking. Right, there's the tunnel right there. I'm thinking we should do it the way that I've always done it, which is avoid the tunnel. Don't go through the tunnel. The tunnels, the tunnels a bad time. Tunnels a bad time. We all know a tunnels a bad time. There's only one way in and one way out. Well, there's two ways in and two ways out, but, you know, it's all a straight line. What we're going to do is we are going to go, we're going to go down south and see if we can meet up with this road right here. And then what we'll do is we'll drive up north and there should be the bunker system right there. So let's do a little bit of off-roading right now. 
Right, we need to be careful here. Or, sorry, I should be careful before I see any, any more comments saying that I drive like a lunatic. I drive like a lunatic to please you all. Let me just go this way. I'll let it coast down. There we go. Perfect. He won't have seen us, and we have a perfect line all the way to the bunker system. We just have to go up this hill. Come on. He's still in second gear. Shift down. There we go. He shifted down. He's going from zero to... He's, he's going from neutral to second gear, going up a hill. That's, that's dumb. Right, we need to watch for the mech that walks up here. He should be on that road just to my right. I've played this. I've played this area plenty enough. There's also a zombie spawning right there. Hello, sir. Is he dead? He is dead. Perfect. Right. Oh, get out the car, 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 get out the car. Go in the first person. Let's check what uh, fire mode we're in. Full automatic. Burst. Semi-automatic. Let's get these puppies. Perfect. Down we go. I can hear them. I can hear them. If I lead them into here, it'll be a it will be a shooting house. What we even got in here? A flare. I'll take the flare. Take this. 9mm tracer rounds. Good for the MP5. Ooh, AK rounds. Excellent. An M9 magazine. We'll take it. I've already got too many of these. 45 ACP. We'll take that. Gunpowder. Gunpowder. We need the gunpowder because we're going to design. We're actually going to make our own rounds for the 9mm. No! Get the 22 caliber away. Oh, hey. Look at that. Uh, where did I put those? There we go. Load them up. Excellent. Perfect. Now, the reason why I'm going through this top area first is because th there is the chance of, you know, something good spawning in here. Like a pickaxe. <laughs> Boonie hat. Um, go this way. Go round. And this is just a little lookout point. Uh, nothing there. Nothing substantial here, really. Wee bits, wee bits of ammo. Here, oh, take that. Oh golly, G guys, look at that. Look at how many zombies are out there. There's one, two, three, four. Now, I wonder, I wonder, hold on a second here. Can I just put that there? Can I take you, ignite flare. Whoa! Did you see that? Did you see that? Oh, he ain't giving up. He ain't giving up. Okay. Imagine the sentries had like a grenade launcher. Oh, I heard an explosion there. That zombie's really intrigued by that flare over there, isn't it? I heard an explosion, it was far off to my left, which means uh, a beeper just went pop. A beeper just went pop. Let's check the magazine. Car's still there. Excellent. Go along here, and there's a few more bunker systems here. We should be able to check them. Uh, we can go, we can double back as well behind the car. There's another few bunkers there. So, what we're going to do is, well, we actually need to go that direction. There's another explosion just happened there, which means another beeper just went pop. Um, if I go up here, I think I'll be able to show you. Right, do you see where that, that, that sentry is over there? See if you draw a line to the right. 
see over there, there's another bunker system right there. But it's easy to get down that and it's easy to get into the underground system from that direction. It's not that easy to go from this direction, it's quite, uh, I found it's quite difficult going this way. And that building, I don't feel it's worth it ever going down there. If you're feeling brave, you could probably go down to those, those, those of, these have always got stuff in them. Like there's always something good in them. Wait, excuse me? He didn't even see me and he started shooting at me. Oh! That was an explosion from up there. <laughs> that was three beepers that went pop! Oh my god! There's a lot here! Uh, we need to drink some water. I forgot my canteen. Oh god, I forgot my canteen, which means we need to find some water. We need to find some li- Where you at? Where you at? Where are you? Where are you at? Come on, show me where you are. Right, he's dead. This MP5K just does not kick. No recoil whatsoever. There's a- Oh. You down there? Right, he's dead. Check that magazine. Oh, sounds like one jumped down. I can hear- I think he's up there. Or he might be inside the bunker system below me. Let's have a little nosy, shall we? Anybody in here? That's a nice shark. Nine mil mag. More tracer. Join that up. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, okay. Another AK. Perfect. I'll take that. We'll, we'll drop. What we'll do is we'll drop that back into the car and we'll uh, we'll cycle loot, etc. Twenty-two caliber. Not what I'm after. There's some shotgun rounds. Another forty-five Colt forty-five clip. Magazine. Sorry, magazine. Don't go ape shit at me in the comments just because I said clip. <laughs> right. Check this. Oh, what's that? There's some na some matches sitting right there. Check through this. Nothing substantial. Another clip. Sorry, magazine. Desert Eagle. Oh! Oh! I'm staying right here. I'm staying right here. I am not moving. I'm not moving until that thing blows up. I'm sorry. I don't want to get caught here. Because if it, if it comes around that corner, I'm stuffed. Please blow up. Please blow up. <laughs> Please blow up. Come on. Does anyone else feel, feel this way when they hear a beeper? Does anyone else feel this way? Because this is how I feel. Like, see, as soon as I hear a beeping, no beeping noise, as soon as you hear that, that beep, beep, it's stay still or find it as quickly as possible and shoot it and make sure it's not within 10 meters of you. Otherwise, you're going to get shrapnel all in the face and the leg and the torso and the arms and the groin, everything. Oh, you went off? Yes! Oh, he was right below me. Look at how many zombies are out there! There's five over there, and there's one, two... There's probably more inside that. There's a lot of zombies here. There must there must be zombies below me right now. Any more? Nope, doesn't look like it. Right, let's go deposit this loot into the car. Oh! Oh! Am I in... Hyperthermia! I'm wearing too much. Right, not so great, not so good. We need to find water ASAP. Uh, the only way that we're going to find water is by going... Oh no! This ain't good! This ain't good, ladies and gents! This is not good! Right, we need to take that off. 
Right, um, what can we take off? Here. Take the ghillie suit off. Um, take that off. Take that off. Uh, take the helmet off. Anything that doesn't have an inventory to it, we'll take off. Tactical sweater. Take that off. Right. We'll just jog. We'll just jog back. Right. I feel like we'll have to be very... Oh, hydration is dropping. Did you see that? It went from 30 to 29 and it instantly turned red. Not good. Um, we're going to need to do something about our heat. Whoa! 37 degrees over 40. Not good. Not good. Not good. Right, do we have anything? <gasps> oh, we've got, we've got two, si we, two wee sips of water in this. Don't be sick. Don't be sick. Right, he wasn't sick. Good. Right. I'm going to keep these things off for right now because I don't think they're going to assist us in uh, staying cool. Uh, the other issue is the, ta the jacket is also a wee bit heavy. So I may have to take that off. See, now we look, we actually look pretty good right now. You know? Look at that man. Look at that man ready to fight. Okay. Um, fruit cocktail, maybe? This is probably a risky thing to do. Wait, did I just put it back? No, I didn't. Okay, right. Open that up. We need to find a, a well of some sort. Just eat all of this. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, it needs it need, it needs to be water. It needs to be water. Ah, oh, the tactical jacket. I think the tactical jacket is also causing us to be heavy as well, you know. Right, we, sh we shouldn't be... Right, it's going down. It is going down. It is going down. Right, we can't wear our ballistic jacket in here. Or ballistic vest here. Uh, which isn't isn't great. Is not great, I will admit. It's not that good. Right, we need to... I'm going to keep the 9mm. Keep the 9mm tracer. Swap that out. Drop that in. I've also got a grenade here. I don't know how I... I don't know where I got that from, if I'm going to be honest with you. Right. I wonder if... Now, I think shade also works for this. Right. What we're going to do is we're just going to lie down right here. Let's see if... Let's see if this, this drops our... Yes, it's dropping. It's dropping. Temperature is dropping. It's going down. Excellent. We're in the shade. We should be able to recover a wee bit from this. We're still in the red. Ugh. Okay. I'm thinking about what we could do right now. I'm thinking about what we can do. Um, it is it is slowly going down. It, it is definitely going down. I need to find a... Right, tell you what. Let's get into the car. What, what we're going to do is we're going to go away from here for a second. And we're going to go to the neighbouring town. Okay? We're going to go get some water because I'm ill prepared for this. Right, let's go. Right, there should be a little town just up this road. Yep, there's a town right there, a little village. We're going to go straight for it, we're going to beeline for it. Not even going to stay on the road, we're just going to go straight for it. Okay, the road's actually here, perfect. Look at his bounce! Oh, so good! Right, there should be a well around here somewhere. Should be a well somewhere here. We blue one. We blue well. Right, we'll stop here. We'll jump out. 
Right, let's have a wee, let's have a little look around here. There's got to be a little well around here somewhere. Right. There's a kitchen right here. That's a beer. That's not what we want. That's soy sauce. That's definitely not what we want. That's loaded with salt. Right, there's nothing in there. Oven. Check the microwave, you know. Oh! <laughs> Yep, check the microwave. Microwave always has a bottle of water in it. That makes total sense. There we go. Temperature's dropping rapidly. Excellent. We're back in the clear, I think. Uh, hyperthermia. Heat stroke is getting slowly treated, which is good. That's perfect. That's what we want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out the... I know the canteen holds 10 uses for, for water, but... Um, I'm going to stick with the water bottle because the water bottle, even though it carries five, it's a smaller it's a smaller profile. There's a well right there. Perfect. Water's going back up too. We'll be able to refill our canteen and our water bottle from this well. Perfect. Uh, what else I'm going to do? I am going to quickly... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do exactly what some of you have suggested as well. Throughout these episodes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a, a little spawn point, a little bed for me to, to, to respawn at if I do, in fact, die at these locations. You know, when I go to locations like the sub-base, D4 airbase, the airfield itself, uh, places away from my main base, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a little bed that I can just, you know, respawn at. It won't be my main spawn point, but it'll just be a temporary spawn point if I do happen to die. Which means I can quickly get back into the episode without having to, like, waste time. You know? So, before we do anything, before we go on with creating that spawn point, let's just see how much it takes to create one. So, it's a little bed. We need a little bed. So we need four rags, we need uh, some rope, and we need three long wooden sticks. We can quickly grab those now, actually. So we can cut this down quickly. Because we've got our hatchet, we'll be able to cut this very quickly. Okay, I think it's long sticks we need. It's long sticks. So it's not the short ones, it's the long ones. So bushes like this will do. This one right here, this will be the one. What, would, what we're going to do is we're going to create a bundle of sticks and we're going to quickly uh, sort out our spawn point. Right. Um, bundle of wooden sticks. Bundle of wooden sticks. Small wooden sticks. There's the one we want. So we want this one. What we'll do as well, we'll go through some of these houses and we will quickly tear up some, uh, some clothing items that we might actually need uh, for creating this. How long is this? Excellent. Right. Oh, what's that? That's a lettuce. That's a big stinky lettuce. Right. We don't need that. What we do need is we need to find some rope, but we can sort that. We can actually sort that out right now. Go back to our previous location right here and create a tree bark rope. There we go. So we're almost there. Almost got all the materials we need. Okay, uh, let's just double check again what we actually need. Improvised bed. We've got the knife, we've got that, we've got that, now we need four rags. So let's have a little look inside here. Uh, go to second floor. There should be a place here that's got some... There's a cobra. Yep, there'll be something in here for us to use. Maybe, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. What a shame. Okay, that's the loo. Oh, there's something we can use. Let's tear that up into rags. No, I, I don't want the door. I don't want, I don't want to make a base here. Please. <laughs> one, two, three. What do we need? We need four. We need one more. And there's the thing we need. A pair of underpants, a pair of boxers, boxer briefs. Tear them up. 
Excellent. Now we've got everything that we that we actually need to to craft ourselves a little mobile, a little uh, temporary spawn point. Perfect. Right. Let's get back to the car. Let's get back to the bunkers, and let's build ourselves a little uh, temporary spawn point, and then we can get on and start looting the area. How about that? I do like this camouflage though. It's I, I like I like looking the part. Like I said to you before, everybody else. I like looking the part. I like looking, you know, a proper uniform. That's my deal. That's my that that's what I like. I like having a proper uniform. Right. Turn the engine on. And off we go. Now we can go straight back down to where we came from. Without damaging the car. Oh! <laughs> oh, I love this car. Yeah! <laughs> right. Now, the sentry does come up this road, so we need to be very careful about where we place it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it on the hill place it up here out of his out of his reach at least or out of his line, uh, line of sight right, we'll just drop it right here in the shade right here this is where we'll this is where we'll make our bed as well okay crafting bed and we'll place it right we'll place it right here okay let's fill it all up we don't have enough of the tree right no problem, we can cut this. I only had one tree bark rope, which means, you know, it's only got 10 uses in it. So you need to quickly create a new one, another one at least. There we go. Perfect. And, I wonder if this has got enough long sticks in it. One, two, oh, okay. <laughs> We've actually got enough long sticks here. Look at that. We didn't actually need these long sticks. Right. That's our mobile spawn point uh, set down, or our temporary spawn point set down. Now we can go about our business and start looting now. Right, there's a there's a zombie right there. He's dropped. Perfect. Excellent. I like this wee gun. I really really like this gun. Oh, there's another one. Oh, don't do that. Back to sem back to semi-automatic. I held shift for too long. One shot, one kill. Perfect. Right, let's get down there. There's the audience here to check us out. They just missed us. We just drilled two zombies. Sorry for you uh, audience members of uh, the Scum Network. <laughs> As soon as we look at this, what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, right, I've got enough M9 magazines. I don't have to worry about those anymore. There's another engraved AK. I don't... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Another N9 bayonet. Has that got a... Is that a black one? Oh. Oh. That's a... Wait. That's white, apparently. But mine has a white handle on it. Strange. Right, go through here. We've got a shovel and nothing substantial. Right, go through these boxes here. Uh huh. We'll take you. We'll drop the canteen off uh, at the car as soon as we're finished in here, and then we'll go into the, the deeper location and start looting the underground. Now, the underground passage. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 that's good, that's good, that's good, that's perfect. The underground passage, or the underground base, uh, I've found from this side at least, or this side on the map, which is the very bottom, the southern side, is the easiest to get in. That's that's just me though. Some people might say that they found it uh, a lot easier to go from like maybe the northern side, or maybe in the middle. 
because the, 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 there's only a few sentries that patrol that that, uh, that point. The reason why I like this side is because once the sentry that patrols from that point to that point turns around, this one's already looking away to the, the south. So it, it makes it a lot easier to actually get in and out. Right, drop that in. Drop that in. In fact, we'll put, we don't, do we need, do we really need the compass right now? I don't think we do. Right, drop that in, drop that in, that in as well. Put that in as well, we don't actually need that at the moment. Right, let's reload this magazine. Okay, let's stack that with the, the tracer ammo we found. And some of the basic ammo that we actually brought with us. Right, now we can go into the underground. My guy is really suffering for the, uh, the stamina, isn't he? Right, I'll show you the way that I do it, right? So you go to the top of this bunker, right? So there's two, there's two sentries, right? So there's that sentry right there. And there's that one right there. You can just see him over the top. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so I've drawn him off his pathing a wee bit, so he'll stay there for a little while, uh, which is isn't a problem, but it's not great. It's not it's not a great thing to to have to deal with right now. So what you want to do is once he decides to they decides to chill out, uh, he's going to go back to his patrol route, and he's going to go that direction. He's going to go from there along. Now the other one that we need to, there's actually a zombie down there, I can see him. He's right there, see him? Right, we'll stay low here, we'll just stay low. Just for a second here, just to explain to you how I do this. Right. Right, so he's looking away, which is perfect. And then you've got him, right? You've got this guy right here, you've got this sentry here, like, right, okay, what do I do with him? Right? See, because I pulled him off his, uh... His patrol route right now, he's going back to the default location, which means he's going to, yep, just like that. So what we're going to do is he's going to turn around and go back the way he came. Where he stopped is where that sentry is currently going to walk to, I think. I think that's where he's going to walk to. He might stop a wee bit short. As soon as he's down, uh, as soon as he's down there, looking the other way, looking south, uh, what we can do is we can jump onto this wee bit right here and run down. You can kind of see it right there. There. Right, okay, this is where this is where we make our move. Right, see how he's looking away? Drop here. Drop here. Oh, that's a beeper. Okay. Okay, jump down here. Run this way. Open this door. Shut the door quickly. There you go. <laughs> right. It's a wee, it's a wee, it is a wee bit hectic. I will admit, it's a little bit hectic, but it works. It does work. It does genuinely work. Right. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna. Oh, that matches the color, sort of. Sort of matches. Right. Check magazine. We only used three bullets. We got rid of the beeper. Open that door. And this door opens from the right to the left. Okay, you just have to watch your corners in this place because obviously whilst this is being opened right now it's not triggering any of the zombies, but they can hide. The wee buggers can hide. Right. Couple of MIGs sitting here. Perfect. Oh, there we go. There's a there's a beeper that just went off. Excellent. Okay. Have a look through it through here. 
Some nine, fresh 9mm rounds, perfect. Oh, a magazine for that for the AKs that we found. There we go. Oh, and a deagle. We'll take the deagle. If we find anything a wee bit better than the deagle, uh, we'll drop the deagle and we'll uh, we'll move on. Right. You can search those ones right there, but I don't I don't feel they hold much. At least to me, they don't hold much. Right. Another another gate that opens from the right to the left. So there's one behind us. So what we're going to do is we're going to back up a wee bit. Give ourselves some space in case anything anything explosive runs through that door. Okay, nothing so far. Dead. Oh! Where did he go? Oh! He came up behind me! <laughs> it jumped out my skin! <laughs> oh! Oh! Okay, we can spawn at the shelter. Okay. I shouldn't have went in the first person mode there. That was silly. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take... First of all, we're going to take that off, and we're going to take that off. We're going to take this axe, right? Because that, that zombie's going to be... He's still going to be sat there. And there's also zombies going to be on the outside as well, which is a wee bit of a problem. But I think we can, I think we can manage it. Okay. Sentries are being a wee bit weird. <gasps> oh, oh, that's not good. That's not perfect. That's not good. What right, we're going to do is we're going to hide in here. I hope they don't see us. Not a great feeling right now, ladies and gents. Not a great feeling. Right, we should we should be able to see them from here. Right. D camera, get get out of my ass. Right. Right, he's not gonna move, is he? Please move. Please. Please. What oh, a pain in the neck. Right. We need to try and get his. We need to try and get him to turn, because he's uh, he's he's not he's not doing it for us right now. Right. Search for rocks. Oh. <laughs> Right, let's try this. Okay, good. He's he's alive. He's alive. He's not a. Uh... Are you gonna move? Oh man. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Why are you going that far? I wonder if we can get in from the, this side. Oh shit! I wonder if they're coming up this way. Oh, see if they are. They've they've just. Oh, I think they are. I 
Haha, <laughs> losers! Oh, that's not good. Open, 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 open. Shut, shut, shut. They better not blow up my car. Right, my body should be here. So there it's there. There it's there. Right, buddy, how you doing? Pain in the ass. Right. Give me that. Give me that. Drop that. Search. <laughs> what a pain in the jacksie. What a... Ooh, forgot about the concealed mode. Hold on. Options. The game updated recently and it managed to turn my concealed mode off. Let's turn that back on so YouTube doesn't do me. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, folks. I hope you didn't see that. <laughs> that was an oopsie by me. Oh, we need to heal. We need to heal. We need to patch our wounds because we did take some damage. Okay. You're probably wondering why I'm leaving the axe. I've already got enough axes. I can make an axe. I can't... I, I, I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about an axe. Nobody has to worry about an axe. Right. Third person only. Oh, right. <laughs> Did you see him? He was right there. He was right there. You know what? I'm gonna... Wait, where did those go? Are they over here? I'm sticking them on. Yeah. Awesome. Now, what we can do is... See the sentry that's currently patrolling this area? He only goes round in a square. Right, we can go this way. Don't turn. Oh! Right, so the sentry doesn't go round in a square. He goes in a straight line. He goes from that point all the way down to there's a there's a point down there. See, can, can you see where that wee red marker is? Right, he stopped. He's turning around now. Right, let's put the gun away. Oh yes! Okay, we're in. Now this is where I usually come to get loot when I'm in any multiplayer server. Uh, this is usually where I go. Look at this, right? Check this out. Look at all the bags and boxes, look at that. Right, let's have a look through these. Uh, we've got a nice tactical jacket that I can't wear because it's too warm. Uh, we've got a nice rain jacket set right there. Oh, oh, oh ho ho. Fill it up, fill it up. That's a spare magazine for an MP5. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to loot this. I think this is going to need to be a two-parter, eh, ladies and gentlemen. Because we did, I, I, I will admit, I did waste a little bit of time at the start. I did waste a little bit of time. I got killed. <gasps> okay, what do we need? What do we need to do to make this fit? Perfect. Excellent. Now, the good thing about all these little boxes is, these are all individual boxes, you can go through all of them like this. I'm plagued with 22 caliber rounds as well, which is not so fun. <laughs> right, stack them in there. Tell you what, we'll put the bullets in here. There we go. Nice and neat, nice and organized. Right, what to do is stand to the side and search all the boxes here. We've got some slugs. What else we got? We've got some... 22 caliber in a box, 22 caliber in loose form. Another AK mag. Mm. Another 22 loose rounds. Oh! Um. In fact, you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Um. No, take that. No, take that. Take, take, no, take that off. Oh, we don't need that because it's like an, it's got an, an, like, 
it's already got a silencer built into it. Wait, wait, what? Oh yeah, because I need to take the I need to take that off, and then I need to take that off, and then I need to take this off. And then what we can do is we can put that in there. We can press number one. We can then put this on that. There we go. Yeah, we don't need it. We don't need it. We don't. We generally. Mmm. Yeah, MP5K and MP5 SD. Tidy, tidy little gun. An in, 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 inbuilt silencer as well. Inbuilt suppressor to this little gun. Perfect. That's what we wanted. That's what I wanted. Some good loot, just like that. That's perfect. Right, we're going to equip that to that, and we're going to put that in slot two. There we go. Nothing great. Eh, that's okay. Armor piercing rounds for the... for any 45 ACP round uh, gun. Pretty good, right? I'm plagued with 22 calibers. There's a little flashbang. Probably better used than... Oh my god! <laughs> alright, alright. Alright, game. We're gonna be like that. That's perfect. Just keep, 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 keep doing that. Just, I want more of that. I want more of that. You know, I, w I want more, uh, more drum mags. 22 caliber. There's so much more. Ugh, that's three boxes full. Slugs, sluggies. Middle box. More birdshot. Sort that out. More birdshot. God damn. Drop that there. We'll take one stack of it because uh, the birdshot, as good as it is, is not great. It isn't. It isn't amazing. Um, I can leave it here though. Oh my god. Right. Oh. The game's being nice. The game's being nice. Right. We're gonna need to try and get out of here eventually with. All of this stuff. Oh, look at that. What's it currently on? It's currently on burst. What are we on? Semi-automatic. Perfect. Now, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We've got a few things to go through here. Right. 22 caliber. Not great. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? SVD rounds. That's still one gun that I've never found in this game. In the single player series. I've not found... ...an SVD. That might be something that we need to work towards, because we've already found an M82A1 Barrett. Right, we're gonna just sprint. We're sprinting. Okay. Is he above me? He ate that. That zombie better be above me. It's above me. It's definitely above me. It feels like it's right on me as well. Blow up. Do it. Do it. Blow up. Do it. Come on. It's, it's literally right above me. I can hear it. Or it's right below me. I'm not sure. If the explosion happens up here, it'll probably happen down here. Come on. Do it. I get hit from that! Oh, maybe I didn't. That was weird. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ha ha, tidy, tidy. <gasps> what rounds do I need to put in that? I need to put in... Oh my god. The game. The game. Oh, the game. The game. Ha <laughs> ha, the game. This game, though. 
Sorry, I looked at those and I thought, uh, oh, 762. No, no, 762, 556. M9 suppressor, we'll take it if we don't. Oh, another bayonet. Oh, I love it. Oh, <laughs> more bayonets. More slugs. We need to wait. Oh, hold on. Hold on. <gasps> Have I. Can I not. Can I not put you on you? No? Is it only a red dot site that I can put on you? Yeah, it seems like it only is. That's a shame. It's a sure I can. Oh. Oh. Oh, game. Oh, game. 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 That's an SD. What else have we got here? Tracer runs for the SVAL. Right, the, the deagle's getting dropped. We're gonna go through these. Right, that's just a bag. And that's a gunpowder. Oh! The game, the game's too good to us. Look at this, right? Oh, hold on. Look at that! Just look at that for a second! Is that better quality than mine? No, it's not perfect, right? I didn't want it to be perfect quality. Because uh, mine's is the perfect quality. Oh, hello! <laughs> right, what we're going to do is this is going to be a two-parter, ladies and gentlemen, because the airbase is genuinely huge. It is such a massive place to play in that I can't fit it all into one episode. Bear in mind, I did had to, I did have to go and do, deviate a little bit from the original plan. But what we're going to do is we're going to end it here and then the next episode, which might not be next Tuesday, it might be a lot sooner than you think. It might be uh, this Sunday coming up. Uh, I'll probably re release it around that time because Thursday we need to do a multiplayer video. We just need to. Uh, but Sunday... Look forward to possibly episode 2 of our time in D4. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you've enjoyed today's uh, episode, ladies and gents, leave a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Leave a comment down below. How did you think it was? How did you think this episode went? How did you feel? What do you think about this? What do you think about this right here? This is nuts. This is crazy. I love this game. So good. Um... What are your ways for getting into D4? Like, what are your best locations to go to? This is my preferred location to go. Uh, but what are your guys' uh, preferred locations to go in D4 in this airbase? Maybe not the, the southern entrance, but maybe, maybe the northern entrance or something like that. Or the, the two middle entrances that are, like, right here. Around here somewhere in the middle section of this airbase. Anyway, folks. I'm going to calm down. If you've enjoyed the series, if you've enjoyed the season, and you're still not subscribed, consider subscribing, ring the little bell, you'll stay up to date with this series, my multiplayer series, and any other video that I put out. You'll basically stay up to date with everything that I put out every week. Alright ladies and gents, oh boy, I'm excited. From myself, and my hot MP5 SD. The fully kitted out, you know. What's going on with my leg? <laughs> that just ruined the outro. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Mr. Fudo. I'll see you all another time.